All right, guys, we got a freaking heat home. <laughs> got the Marty. That is a big crappy right there. It's a freaking giant. Here's the situation. Just found this brush pile, just a first cast. Kind of just want to talk over how I approach the new brush piles. So I found them with down image, and now I'm checking with 2D. I know there's some fish on this, but I'm not sure if it's crappy or not. About 20 foot of water. It's a huge brush pile, too. So. I'm just idling around trying to find some bass and I end up finding more crappy than anything. Well, brush piles in general. Don't know if it's crappy or not. Water's 49 degrees back here, so about a two degrees difference. It could be some, some slabby slabs on this brush. All you can do is fish it. Marking one fish at about eight foot. So, um, let's see if we can get a bite. Sometimes it takes a while to figure out where they're at on it. I mean, they could be on this dock beside me. You just gotta piddle around until you get a bite. I'm a huge person on jigging right up and down, so I try to use my trolling motor to move me around. And if I hit the brush, I want to be right on top of it initially, just to get a bite and see what size or how big they are. I mean, we could not get anything, and this video not even be uploaded. <laughs> Pretty boring. There's a lot of traffic through here right now. I was messing my depth finder all up because it's going from like six foot back to 20 foot. But that's mainly because the brush is so dang big. Got that little minnow on a 132. Line there about eight foot. Let it go down. Just trying to see if we can get bit. Fish. There gotta be one of y'all in that brush pile. Right now I'm fishing right on top of it. Just to see. And then I'll probably go to the, the end of it and fish and then back to the beginning. See what happens. Well, there's a little bite right there. Didn't feel big though. I'll drop it back down. He shouldn't have pulled my jig as small as it felt. It may just be stacked up with little ones. Well, we're about to find out. Oh no, nice one. Nice crappy. <laughs> oh, the power of mega imaging, guys. The power of mega imaging. Going out here, trying to find some offshore bass, end up finding crappy. Every time, I'm telling you. Every time. 
So we had a little more bump in the brush pile. Now this one, after I jerk, I wound up just a little bit. That's the key, guys. You got to remember what you did the last cast. Now, I mean, looking at my depth finder, you wouldn't think there were any fish on this thing. So they must be inside the brush. I mean, just because you don't see any on your depth finder don't mean that there isn't any fish. And that's the first fish I marked right there. I mean, I know you probably can't see that little screen, but it's got a mark for about 10 foot. I mean, mainly this front one is to make sure I'm on top of the brush and the back one is to find them. And that's a good mark right there, about 14 foot. Now, I like to fish on the side of my trolling motor zone because I mean, that's where the transducer is. So whatever I'm seeing there, I'm probably pretty close to with my jig. So we caught that one. Just gotta figure out where they're at on the brush and just, what I try to do, like if I'm getting a bite somewhere, I'll look on the bank and I'll find something that I can line the boat up with. Try to stay in that general area. Now we're gonna try to wind up just to see if they want to bite it like that. But if not, we'll cast her back out. I mean, it's 20, we're in 30 feet of water right here. I'm not marking any right there, so I believe we gotta go back over here to us a little bit shallower. Well, not shallower, but the brush is a little bit bigger. This thing guys, let me check the bank out. You know where I'm at, come fish it. I'm up the lake today, I'm not in the river. So, y'all can have this. <laughs> nah, the bass ain't biting in the river. So, come back here. See if I can find some, which, I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll catch a couple of these, take home to eat. Especially if they're that size. That's about a ten and a half incher, perfect eating size. So what I'm doing now, the thought process in my head is I'm off the brush, so I'm trying to find the start of it and then try to stay on the start of it for a second. Going slow with the trolling motor, watching the electronics, trying to get back on the brush. Just should be in front of this dock. So we're gonna wind up, and I know the brush is out out here somewhere. So cast it out there. All right, so we mark a fish right there. At the beginning of the brush, it looks like, maybe. So we'll let that fall down. I'm not going to move it or anything. There's another mark at 10 foot. There's a fish. Nice one, too. So they're, they're on the, end, the edge of it. Yep, right here. So I'm going to look at the bank. I'm look at this bank over here and I should be able to line up my cast now. Throw it out there. Give us some line. And they bit it when I didn't jerk it. Repeat the same cast. 
hopefully it'll work again. Uh, I popped it for no reason that time. I just told myself they bit it and it didn't jerk. <laughs> it's an instinct. Oh. That one annihilated it. Now, if y'all like to see a video where I explain everything I do, how to find a brush pile, let me know. If it expresses enough interest, I'll be glad to do it. But I'll do it on like another lake or something. Y'all choose a lake. Let me know down in the comments what lake Y'all want me to show y'all where you can look to find a brush pile. Alright, we're off to Mark. Let's get back on the Mark. You want to get right on the end of that brush pile. Back up just a little bit. We got some guy watching me right now, and we got a bite. Not good. I don't like when people stare at me. <laughs> Which he could be a subscriber. So if you are, what's up? Like people watching me fish is one thing, but people watching me catch one is another thing. So don't twitch it. Just let it fall. We should be right where we got bit last time. I give it a little bit of movement. <laughs> I'm marking some big fish. So they could be a, a he honk in there. Oh, God. They're tapping it, but they're not taking it. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, put a little bit of crappy scent on it. Dip the tail in it. All that oil in the water. So I'll throw it out there again. I see the boat's washing up on this dock, and I'm marking a lot more fish. This dock may be the hot spot. Yeah, there's a lot of fish here. I could probably limit out right here. So, I mean, everything's about eight to 10 foot, which is what I'm fishing, so. Drop it down just a little bit right there. Let's see what happens. I mean, sometimes you gotta think though, you know, I just put a scent on and I haven't got a bite. The scent could deter you deterior or whatever that word is them from biting too got to keep that in mind so if i do two or three casts without getting a bite i'm gonna change i'll probably change to the stinker 
just to see what happens. If I don't get any more bites with the minna, with the scent on it. Because if they ain't gonna bite the minna, they gonna bite that stinker. There we go. Every one of these are good fish. That might have a lot of fight in him. <laughs> He's a spunky man. little nine incher so there's three so far on a brush we ain't never fished slowly but surely figuring it out I'm gonna show you all Hold on. just so it's because it's marked right now get it off right there is what I'm looking at see all the fish in about eight foot of water I don't edit my videos when I do these, but my battery dies, so I might have to edit them together. But that's fine. So, we're still out here. Plenty of fish. I just showed you on the graph. Let's see if we can get probably one or two more. Be good to go. Yeah, there's a lot of fish. Oh my god, I missed him. A lot of fish right here. Letting it slowly fall at 132 ounce crappy man jig head. With that little minnow in the crappy man green. You just cannot beat it for finesse fishing. And we'll switch to the little stinker here. Probably after our, the video is over, I'm going to switch to the little stinker just to. Finish up a limit, because when they won't, they don't bite like every cast. That little stinker, I put it to them, which I could put my money where my my mouth is. Ooh, that might be a heat haunt right there. Oh, he's all up in the trolling motor. Gosh, my. do some ingenuity right here. I'm going to, uh, I don't want to freeline him. Alright, so what I'm going to do this right here. Put my rod through it. I gave him slack, but i got to trust in my eagle claw hooks. And we got him. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> and he broke me off. <laughs> oh, he didn't break me off. He just came off. Alright. So now, since the bass took the minna, we're going to put my money where my mouth is and put a little stinker on. And show y'all what's up with it. See, I'm out here looking for bass and catch one crappy fish. Gosh almighty. I think I'm gonna put a monkey milk, a blue pepper stinker on. I mean, if they don't bite, I'll switch back, but that's what we're gonna try right there. Blue pepper.
just like that. I'm gonna go with no scent. Toss her out there. You catch a lot of large mouth on that little minnow. If they're in the area. Get back in our little honey hole. Now with a little stinker, I'm gonna give it action just because that tail is just so unbelievable underwater. Come on, buddies. I made a lot of noise with that bass, so I could have ran them out. But as stacked as they were, I shouldn't have really. We'll toss it out there and let it slowly come back to about eight foot. Hopefully wanna knock the crap out of it. Put my money where my mouth is. See if we catch one on a little stinker. Don't know if the blue pepper is the right call, but this water's. Oh, that's a mighty. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't mean the water's not exactly dirty over here, so it should work. There's another shot of the depth finder that's all individual fish when you got a straight line that has a bunch of fish icons normally that's just a piece of brush that looks like fish but when you got like individual little bumps that's normally where it's at the little stinker oh my gosh somebody <laughs> they biting it but they ain't getting it down like the crappy man green give it one more try if I miss another one put the crappy man green on but I mean this blue pepper's getting bite so which I mean, blue pepper is basically just monkey milk. I just wanted a different name and not have the same old name as everybody else. All right, we're right on top of them. It shouldn't take but a second to get a bite. Come on, little buddies. Bite the stinker. <laughs> if I had live scope, I'd probably be like, oh, he's looking at it. Bite it. They're, oh. They're not biting it as good. Like, I had that fish, but he barely picked it up. We're gonna go to the tried and true. The joys of being a, a jig company co-owner is I literally never run out of jigs. <laughs> Which my hook's bent a little bit from that bass, so could be the problem. Let me bend it up just here. Yeah, there we go. That should be him, <clears throat> right here. But while we're waiting on this fish to bite, why don't everybody go down there and hit that like button for me. 
it has surely helped the channel out and i sure appreciate it appreciate all the subscribers we're over 2,000 now and slowly inching towards 3,000 so if you ain't subscribed please do me a favor and hit that big old red button down below and it's free so it costs you nothing to go hit it and we'll eventually be bigger than sad fishing because that's my rival and we're slowly catching up to him <laughs> All right, stinker, do your job. Get just a big one. Or, you know, a decent one. I'll be fine with that. Be nice to get old hee home. So I was trying to fish on the side of this dock, so it was a lot easier to pinpoint them, but I've been getting more bites out here in the open water. Let's check that out. So yeah, I was right here earlier when I caught that pretty good one. Just let that stinker fall on down in there. This guy's doing in the boat. Over here trying to mess up my video. Come on, fish. Fool with that dang large mouth and ran them out. We'll find them though. I think I'm gonna get back out here on the brush and see what happens. Just troll out here a little bit. A lot of striper fishermen today, which we caught a striper today. It was a short one, but we caught one. Freaking had a big old belly on it. And what right now, guys? I mean, it's it's pretty boring. I, I I get that, but it's part of fishing. Part of me not cutting the camera off every time I catch one. Sometimes it is extremely slow, especially this time of year. Alright, we're right on the edge of that brush right now again. So I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit further. Just so I can get right on top of it. Marking a few fish there, about 12 foot. So we should be good where I'm at. which I may a bit more off than I can chew with them in the stinker, but I don't think so. I believe in the stinker. But if we don't get no bite here in a minute, I'm gonna switch to a minute. Cause we right on top of the fish. There we go. That joker didn't bite at all. How 
big he is. Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, all right, guys. Let's check this old fish out, and I'll send you on your way. So that's how I break down a new brush pile. Thought process in my head. Like I was saying, that's the thought process in my head. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it with your buddies. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.